And due to the bad weather and the rain affecting my Disco 2, my Land Rover, it's battery been going flat. And so I've been needing to charge it. And this is my old charger. And uh, <laughs> for the fun, look, made in West Germany. <laughs> Certified by TUV and TUV Rhineland and GS. And I can't pronounce what it said on there. Without further ado, let's take it apart. Right, you can see a tatty old transformer. It does have a high and fast and normal charge, which is that switch here, which is just taking off these two different windings. The full bridge rectifier is interesting. We'll take that apart later because I'm not going to use it. I'm going to remove that as it is a selenium rectifier, which just shows you how old this is. And the meter which is labelled as AMP, is that amps? I suppose it's got six to nine. Not quite sure what it's all meant to mean because when you move it over, it says it's a six amp charger. So I don't know where it gets the nine from. Looking at the meter itself, pretty crude, like hand hand wound <laughs> let's come back out so the first things first we're not going to use it again so let's pull this off get a closer look at it oh. Oh. Right. turn it over That out of the way, bring this back in, zoom in and have a look at it. Insulated standoffs and uh, pretty weird. So let's bring a meter in. And diode range and Point seven volts, point seven volts, one point seven volts goes there. Point three volts across there. Now, if I remember, just going back and having a quick look, these are the outputs. I don't know why it's got that voltage across there because these are the input. I think that's the AC input, so that should be point seven five across there nothing across there nothing across there should be 0.75 across there and but I'm not sure why we should be seeing something across the AC so that's probably why this isn't working very well Get that out of the way. What I might do is uh, let's undo the screws. Can we undo them with a normal pair of pliers? Nope. Uh, bigger pair of pliers. A Leverman Wave clone. God, I bet these haven't been undone for about 40 years. tight probably turning on the back another pair of pliers these little dinky parallel pliers all right that's coming loose
Uh, get rid of the heat sinks. Then what we got? Lots of uh, metal plates. I wonder if that's part of the diode. That is part. That is the diode. So that is the diode because the rest of it is just plastic insulation. So I hope selenium rectifiers aren't poisonous when you take them apart. And I expect, whoops, when I take this one off. There's the next one. And there's the last one. So let's have a look. Sorry. Bring the meter in. Between that face and the metal, we get a diode action. So the actual diode is that layer of material, which I think is selenium. So do that again. You can see they put that onto there. Watch the meter. 1.97. So that is what makes up the rectifier block. It's a bridge rectifier. So we have Four of them, and this lot just makes up this lot. Sorry, just makes up the heat sink. So, I don't know if you found that interesting. I thought it was interesting, and. Uh, And I am going to replace all of that with that, which is KBJ2510, which is a 20, 25 amp. Bridge rectifier. It'll do about four amps without a heat sink, 25 amps with a heat sink, and for a pulse, about 300 amps. So, move those out of the way. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Not sure what I'm going to do with all this metal work, which is all dusty and horrible. Quite sure there must be a use for all these bits of metal. Take that out, put meter away. this back in. So yeah, I'm going to mount that to the case there and cut these wires, solder directly to them. So that one's going to go down to the middle. That one goes to the other middle. That will go to the negative and that will go there. I'm uh, not sure if you want to see me doing the soldering or not, but maybe I'll just click my fingers like that and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, whatever it is, soldered in. Not the best of jobs, but it's in. And uh, 
next is uh we'll see if it works well i don't think this battery charger is uh gonna be any good <laughs> it never did charge the batteries very well it just made a lot of humming noise and now i know why uh measuring the dc voltage straight out after the uh rectifier you can see <laughs> 11 volts <laughs> that's on its low setting if i set it to its high power setting Twelve point four. <laughs> it's not ever <laughs> going to charge a uh, a reasonably a reasonable car battery. You see, you want thirteen point eight <laughs> to start. You know, not fully charged until you get to about thirteen point eight volts. So uh, yeah, I think as charges go, this is a bit of a joke, and. Uh, just to make it worse, I can get this without shorting everything out. Got a tangle down here. Leads tangling up everywhere. Right, here we go. I'll just show you something. This is my <laughs> trailer socket tester. It's got a rear light, brake light, and two indicator bulbs connected to a trailer plug or in our case the caravan plug this bulb is am I going to get it in without shorting things out it's a 21 watt 5 watt as we would call it a stop and tail light bulb so uh, 5 watt, five watts for the tail light and 21 watts for the brake and so if I put one of them on, you can see it drops to 10.4. If I light the other side, I'm not sure which one is the brightest one. Oh, that's a five watt one. It's not so bright, is it? Still drops to 10.7. And if I put both on, so you got whoop, a spark. <laughs> oh, made me jump. If we put both on, so we're drawing about two amps now. It's about twenty-six watts. So look, ten volts. How's that going to charge a battery up? <laughs> it's going to discharge a full one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, having changed that, I think this charge is going to go in the bin, and I'm going to look for a better one. I don't think there's enough output from the transformer. <laughs> to do its job properly so <laughs> i think i'm going to end the video there and possibly rescue the uh <laughs> rectifier that's <laughs> it's a complete joke <laughs> i've never liked this one i bet if you don't you say about it donkey's years it never has charged batteries very well but i never bothered to check it never bothered to check it now i have now it can go in the bin so <laughs> if you like this tear down then <laughs> Failed repair. <laughs> Click the subscribe button. <laughs> Click the like button. And I'll catch you on the next one. Ah, oh, Merry Christmas all. <laughs>